Do you care to join us, Mr. Schneebly? Yeah. Did I say that correctly? Schneebly? Actually, it's Schneeble. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Jack Black. Let's play bridge. You can be my partner. All right. Lily? For this list, we're looking at moments from across pop culture that made Thomas Jacob Black, yes, that's his real name, into a generation-defining comedy star. What's your favorite Jack Black moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Rising with Pitfall. What's your first memory of Jack Black? What's up, little homie? Maybe his early film work in The NeverEnding Story 3 or early TV work in the pilot Heat Vision and Jack. Heat Vision. We've stumbled onto the scene of a very unusual crime. We tend to do that, don't we? If you search your memory banks long enough, you might remember Black's debut acting gig. The year was 1982. E.T. was dominating the box office, Michael Jackson was topping the charts with Thriller, and a 13-year-old Jack Black was telling us about getting lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry, surrounded by giant scorpions and man-eating crocodiles. Black only appears for a few seconds in this retro commercial for the classic Atari game. In that short amount of time, Black exemplifies the untamable enthusiasm he'd become famous for. Decades later, Black is still blown away by the game's graphics. The graphics were like, what? It looks like a human being running and jumping over stuff. Number nine, hosting the MTV Movie Awards. The spoofs are a time-honored tradition of the MTV Movie Awards. 2002 offered some of the show's funniest offerings when Black and Sarah Michelle Gellar hosted. The ceremony commenced with Geller sporting Mary Jane hair while a radioactive spider turns Tobey Maguire into black. Jenga! Following this surreal trip into the Spider-Verse, we head to Middle Earth where Black assumes the role of the ring bearer. Let's just say that he puts it somewhere that Sauron wouldn't think to look. Last night, me and some buddies had a little too much mead and uh, we ended up at the piercing parlor <laughs> and uh, Long story short, oh my god. As Geller takes the ring to Mount Doom, Black teams up with Will Ferrell to get Jodie Foster and a young Kristen Stewart out of their panic room. Oh, looky here! Gone with the Wind commemorative plate! Oh, it's getting a little windy! Oh! Ah! Moments like this exemplify why MTV would grant Black the Comedic Genius Award 20 years later. I don't deserve this, but I will take it! Thank you, MTV! Number 8. Returning to the Jungle as a Teenage Girl 35 years after playing Pitfall, Black headed back to the jungle. Okay, let's get it over with. Not just any jungle, the one from Jumanji. Black's live-action film roles had been infrequent the past few years, but Welcome to the Jungle proved to be a welcome comeback of sorts. On the surface, Black is Professor Sheldon Oberon. Underneath is a popular high school student named Bethany, who's horrified to find herself trapped in a middle-aged male body. Can you not judge me for like two seconds? I split up with Noah, I turned into a guy, and I cannot find my phone! I am allowed to be upset! This setup enables Black to stretch his comedic muscles in new ways while also working in some PG-13 humor. Oh, this is so much easier! <laughs> It's cool, right? Yeah, because you have, a, like, a handle. In the sequel, Bethany eventually winds up back in the Shelley avatar. But Fridge and Martha also get turns, allowing Black more room to experiment and take his character to the next level. Everybody knows the story about my little brother and his famous testicles, wherever they may be. Number 7. The Office Movie We Wish Were Real Black has delivered many memorable TV guest spots. Sparring against Spencer in iCarly, bringing more chaos to the community study group, and earning a baffling Wikipedia credit with Lizzo in The Mandalorian. Despicable. If that isn't the quarter calling the stifling slimy, I beg your pardon. However, it's hard to top his surreal appearance in this Emmy-winning Office episode. Not coming out for another six months, Mrs. Albert. Day. Black doesn't visit Dunder Mifflin, but The Office does illegally download a movie starring him, Jessica Alba, and Cloris Leachman. This is Sam. Hi. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Hannaday. 
please call me Lily. We're used to seeing movies where Black's characters romance someone out of their league. In this film, he lands two ladies out of his league, but his heart resides with Leachman's grandma. Alas, their love was not meant to be. Lily! Push the reverse button! Reverse the button! <laughs> <laughs> It's not the first time a Leachman character has been with a younger gentleman, but it's not exactly the last picture show. Number 6. Sending Ron Burgundy into a glass case of emotion Even if it is a cameo, Black's presence never fails to elevate a movie. Black had his head shrunk by the Muppets. Hey, what's going on here? Why is my body so big? But he kind of had it coming after what he did to poor Baxter. His appearance in Anchorman comes out of left field, much like the burrito that Ron Burgundy accidentally chucks in his face. This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. <laughs> Causing Black's motorcyclist to mess up his ride, he seeks revenge by kicking Ron's cherished dog off the San Diego Coronado Bridge. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's a moment so unexpected and mean-spirited that you can't help but laugh in shock. The scene ran the risk of going too far, but it works because A, it's clearly not a real dog, B, Baxter survives, and C, Black is such a riot in the role. That's how I roll. Baxter. Huh? No! Number 5. His Holiday with Kate Winslet Black has starred in a couple of romantic comedies, but The Holiday is the one that keeps us coming back, whether it's Christmas or not. Yeah, let me see. Yep, you got something in your eyelash. You want me to get it? When Cameron Diaz's Amanda and Kate Winslet's Iris switch homes, the latter finds herself falling for a charismatic composer named Miles, played by Black. Director Nancy Myers crafted the script with Winslet and Black in mind, so it's no wonder why both slide so comfortably into the roles. I'm finished. No, you didn't even get your spicy tuna yet. I'm fine, really. The film permits both a chance to step out of their usual comfort zones, with Winslet doing a modern comedy and Black showing off his romantic side. Iris, if you were a melody. Only the good notes. The two make for an adorable pair as they bond over film scores, food, and failed relationships that luckily paved the way for this one. If I come over there, will you go out with me on New Year's Eve? Love to. Number four, his tenacious music career. Sorry, Foo Fighters, but the best musical group to form in 1994 was arguably Tenacious D. How about the power to move you? Black makes up half of this comedy rock duo with his longtime friend Kyle Gass. Following several live gigs, Tenacious D made their screen debut in the 1996 comedy Biodome, which is admittedly the only good thing to come out of that Polly Shore vehicle. Don't say we didn't say some freaking trees! Fortunately, the duo would be given a more prominent platform with a three-part HBO series. Tenacious D went on to release four albums and the 2006 cult comedy The Pick of Destiny. Since taking on Satan, the duo has gone on multiple tours, launched an animatic YouTube series, and won a Grammy for their cover of The Last in Line. Such Wonder Boys. Number 3. Taking a Dark Turn as Bernie In 1996, mortician Bernhard Tita II was convicted for the murder of 81-year-old widow Marjorie Nugent. At the time, nobody could have predicted that this horrific crime would inspire a comedy starring Matthew Broderick's friend from The Cable Guy. Really? That's sweet. <laughs> okay. Yet 2011's Bernie marked one of Black's most acclaimed performances, earning him nominations at the Golden Globes and Independent Spirit Awards. Black brings a devilish charm to Tita. The audience shares the same conflicted feelings as the town of Carthage. The evidence is staggering, but Tita is so lovable that you genuinely want him to be not guilty. I can understand chewing each bite of some food 25 times like chicken fried steak, but I don't think you have to chew your refried beans that many times. 
doesn't really make sense. Black's performance and the film proved so effective that attorney Jody Cole was compelled to revisit Tita's case, but he's almost guaranteed to die in prison. No, 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 Jesus, no, 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 what have I done? Number two, his peachy voiceover work. Black is a gifted physical performer, but his voice was tailor-made for animation. Come back with the baby, or don't come back at all! <laughs> Black has demonstrated his range as Zeke in Ice Age, Lenny in Shark Tale, and Slappy in Goosebumps. Slappy, it's so nice to see you again. Did you miss me? Two voiceover roles tower above all others, though. Black was born to voice Poe in Kung Fu Panda, bringing out the character's passion for martial arts while balancing comedy with heart. Most recently, Black emerged as the MVP in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Open the gates! Turning in a menacing yet uproarious performance as Bowser. In addition to voicing the Koopa King, Black co-wrote Peaches, a song so popular that it's gotten two music videos, one animated and another live action, yet equally over the top. Mario, Luigi, and a Donkey Kong too. A thousand troops of Koopas couldn't keep me from you. By the way, Peaches is eligible for Oscar consideration. Make it happen, Academy. You want it? Come get it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. His Tropic Thunder trailer. Low-brow comedy done with self-aware wit. Ew, gross! You're just mad because I'm skinny. I'm not. His detour to Skull Island. Black drew inspiration from Orson Welles. We definitely see it. The sole surviving record of an uncharted island. A place that was thought to exist only in myth. Until now. His breakout supporting work in High Fidelity, the moment that had us all saying this guy needs his own movie. Okay, buddy. Uh, I was just trying to cheer us up, so go ahead. Wearing stretchy pants, one of the various lines we still quote. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants. His video game work. Bowser has also lent his voice to Brutal Legend and Psychonauts 2. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Solidifying Himself as a Rockin' Lead By the early 2000s, Black had showcased his leading potential in films like Orange County. Today's the big day, Gary. <laughs> Look at me, I'm mega. However, it was his Golden Globe-nominated turn in School of Rock that propelled Black to the top of his comedy class. This is a bass guitar, and it's the exact same thing, but instead of playing like this, you tip it on the side, cello, you've got a bass. As Dewey Finn, Black was given a role that played to his strengths as an energetic comedian and an unhinged musician. Black more than holds his own against seasoned comedy stars like Joan Cusack. It can be equally challenging playing off children, who they say you should never work with in showbiz. What's wrong, Summer? Didn't you hear? We lost! Hey, chill out, dude. Rock isn't about getting an A. Sex Pistols never want anything. Don't let the man get you down. Thankfully, the casting director did their homework with discoveries like Miranda Cosgrove, who Black shares a natural rapport with. Band manager? Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, I'm going to be busy rocking out, so it's up to you to make sure everyone is doing their job. If more teachers were like Dewey, we'd be just as invested in school as we are in rock. Today's assignment. Agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.